I'm now answering question number six from the June 2024 um, R or replacement paper from the Edexcel International A level exam from Pure Mathematics P1. And it says here, figure one shows a sketch of the entrance to a tunnel. The shape of the entrance consists of a sector B, C, D, F. So B, C, D, F, this is a sector, which is like a slice of a circle, you could say. Center F joined to two congruent. And here they've given us, um, you know, an explanation of congruent, which they didn't have to do. Identical triangles, A, B, F and E, D, F. They're identical, exactly the same. Okay, that means they're the same shape and the same size. So, for example, the corresponding angles are the same. So this angle here is the same as this angle here. This angle here is the same as this angle here. And this angle here is the same as this angle here. And all the sides are the same. BF and FD, AF and FE, AB and D, they're all equal. Okay, that's what we can deduce from that. Congruent triangles. So it says, given that AFE is a straight line, AF equals FE, which is 6.4. Okay, so there's 6.4 meters here, and this is also 6.4 meters here. And then it says FB equals FD, FB equals FD, both 6.2 meters. This is also 6.2 meters. And angle ABF or angle BFD equals 2.275 radians. BFD, BFD. The letter in the middle where the angle is, and these are the two places where the angle comes from. Starts from B, goes to F, and then goes to D. So this is the angle BFD, 2.275 radians. Now, we're dealing with radians here. Very important. Okay, so that's 2.275 radians. Okay, now it says, show the angle AB, AFB equals 0 0.433 radians to three decimal places. So we've got to find what this angle is. Now, what we know for sure is this angle and this angle are both the same as we mentioned. We can call them both X. We call them both X. They're both the same, right? And so therefore we can say that X plus X plus 2.275, sorry, let me write that properly, 2.275, they add up to the 2.275, they add up to the angle on a straight line, which is in degrees, 180 degrees, in radians, it's pi radians. Okay, be careful of that. Pi radians, pi radians is equal to 180 degrees, half a revolution. So in radians, that straight line has a total angle of 180. So we can say x is equal to, or 2x, or we can say x equal to pi minus 2.275 divided by 2, because it will be 2x, just divide by 2, and that will give us our answer. Um, now in this, we don't really have to bother about the calculator being in radian mode when we're doing this calculation. We worry about radian mode when we're using the trig functions, which you might have to do. So I'm going to make sure that we are in radian mode, which we are. Okay, it's always best to, um, you know, put it in radian mode in a question like this, even though in this particular calculation it doesn't matter because we're not using sine, cosine, or tangent. So you've got pi. Uh, let me put the fraction of first. So pi minus 2.275 be careful not to make an error in your typing divided by 2 and that gives us 0 0.433296 0 0.433296 which they wanted to three decimal places 0 0.433 0 0.433 radians okay and this is the answer to part a of this question. Now for part B, which I'll put on the next page here, it says find the perimeter of the entrance to the tunnel A, B, C, D, E, F, A in meters to one decimal place. Now the perimeter is the length of the whole outline of the shape. Okay, it's the length of the whole outline of the shape. So the perimeter is going to be A, B plus D, E. Those, both, those, those are like the same length. And plus AF plus FE. Those are the same length. Plus the length of the arc, BD. Let's say, let me put it BCD. Plus BCD, the length of the arc. Plus B, CD is the arc here. Okay. So in order for us to find that, we know what 
A and F, E, R. We know those two are done, right? So we need to find what A, B, and D, E is. Now we know that A, B is equal to D, E because they're congruent triangles, all right? So if you find one of them, we found the other. So let's concentrate on this triangle over here. Now, is this the right angle? Well, we haven't been told. We're not told that this is a tangent. It doesn't look like it is a tangent. So we can't assume that that's the right angle there, for example, like some people might do. So here I would use a cosine rule to find A, B. Okay, so I know that AB is going to be equal to DE, which is going to be equal to the square root of, and we know for the cosine rule, we're going to use these two sides. We're trying to find that side, so you have 6.2 squared plus 6.4 squared minus 2 times 6.2 times 6.4 times the cosine of the angle between them, which is 0 0.433. Okay, so remember it's the cosine rule is given like this a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cosine a so what i've done i've just made this as a square root like that and these two are the two sides that make the angle and this is the angle between those two sides and this is the angle the, the side we're trying to find okay so this will give us the length of a b and also de okay and we have this is where we must be in radian mode why because we're going to be using cosine so I have this angle already saved in here. So what I'm going to do is this. That's like answer now. So I'll put square root 6.2 squared plus 6.4 squared minus 2 times 6.2 times 6.4 times 6.4 times the cosine of the answer. Okay, and that should give us our length so AB equals DE equals 2.71549, 2.71549. So now we, all we need now also is the length of the arc, BCD. Now what we know is about length of arc is given by the formula R theta, when theta is in radians. Some of you might be confused by this. Oh, I remember length of the arc is theta over 360 degrees times 2 pi R. That's the length of an arc of a whole circle, as you learned in IGCSE. But when we're dealing with radians, this becomes 2 pi. Radians, and the 2 pi cancel with the 2 pi. So when theta is in radius, you're, left, you're just left with r theta. Nice, simple formula. So r is the radius, which is 6.2. That's the radius of this circle, or this sector. And um, the angle, as we were told, is 2.275. That's already given. So that gives us the answer to this. Okay. So that's the length of the arc. So what I'm going to do now, this answer is already in the calculator here. So what I'll do is, um, I'll just leave it like that for now. And I'll say, therefore, we can say the perimeter is equal to AB plus DE, which is 2 times 2.71549. So I'll leave this in this more accurate form. Plus AF plus FE, which is 2 times 6.4. Okay. Plus BCD, which is... 6.2 times 2.275. Okay, so that's BCD and that's those other two lines. So you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 2, 4, 5, that's right. So now I can put this all in the calculator in all exact forms and we'll get nice exact answers. So this I multiply by 2. So this times 2 plus 2 times 6.4 plus, and this is the length of the arc, 6.2 times... 2.275 and that should give you um, 32.3359 was it 32? yeah 32.3359 and we want the answer to one decimal place so 32.3 meters perimeter is just a length so that will be in meters Let's just make sure of that. I wrote it down correctly. That's fine. Okay. So then it says, find the cross-sectional area to the entrance of the tunnel in meters squared to one decimal place. So the cross-sectional area would be the area of all of these faces. So we have these two congruent triangles. Okay. And we can find the area of the triangles by a half AB sine C. Okay, and then you have the area 
of the sector, which is, if you remember, it's theta over 360 times 2 pi r when we're dealing with degrees, in, uh, sorry, times pi r squared for the area when we're dealing in degrees. In, in, um, in radians, the 360 becomes 2 pi. The pi's cancel out, so left with a half times pi over 2 times r squared, which is like the same as saying r squared theta. So here we can have the area of the two triangles. So the area of the triangle A, F, B, and F, E, D is two times a half times their base, uh, times A, B, which is 6.2, times 6.4, times the sine of the angle between them, which is 0 0.4, Three, three. Okay, so that cancels out. That's the area of the two triangles plus the area of the sector, which is a half times r squared, which is 6.2 squared times um, theta, which was 2.275. Okay, that's the area of this triangle. Half times 6.2 squared times, and that will give us our answer. So that's what we have to do here. So we simply just work out this. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go back to where I found the angle. So this is now my last answer. So I'm going to do 6.2 times 6.4 times uh, the sine of the last answer. Okay, that's going to give me the area of those two triangles. Okay, plus I'm going to have a half times 6.2 squared, a half r squared, times 2.275. And that gives me, altogether, 60.385, 60.385, so to one decimal place, 60.4 meters squared. Okay, so this is the area of the two triangles together, this is the area of the sector, okay, and we have our, remember here, for, for this we used a half, a, B, sine C. If you have two sides and the angle between them, okay, sorry, for, for triangle, you can find the area. And for here, we use the formula half R squared theta for the area of a sector, as we mentioned up there. And those are the answers to this question. And that completes question number six from this paper, June 2024, R paper from Pure Mathematics P1. Um, other questions from this paper can be found in the playlist on the top right of the screen at the end of this video. Other questions from the topic of um, radiant measure, you'll find in the playlist over here, and also um, trigonometry over here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching, and see you soon.